fall. I waited all my life for you, waited endless minutes for your presence. I would even, if in pain, walk towards you, even if it meant to die trying. I would use every last breath of my body to have you near, fight off any rival of your heart if it be permitted, to gain a heart of one's choice. You should kill for it, then I would stand in any ring, any stadium, and fight for you to the death, and I would win. I would become everything that I am not in order to gain you. I'd rip out any man's heart, lungs, his hair, teeth, and eyes. I would have his bled, blood on my hands, in my fingernails, his flesh. I would wash it all off over his dead body and not even blink in order to win your heart. If, I, if it were legal and necessary to do so, I'd become a monster to make sure to win you. Use all the bottled up misery, loss and anger and let it out all that day. And then I'd return to the saints and with ablutions pray forgiveness. Yet in truth, I would never have, it would never have been my choice, but a necessity to battle of any rival and claim that most precious gift, your time, your mind, your body, your soul, your everlasting, most beautiful, overfilling, sweet, joyous heart. Oh, I would walk hot grains of sand just to get you, and the pain would I not feel, for a greater pain would overtake my sense of you not being by my side, or I not achieving my goal and dying getting to you. Let the birds of love out of their cage, let them fly, heaven abound. Let all celebrate with balloons slowly floating in the sky. Look, look, love is on the wings of the white doves flying skyward. Love is amongst us, love is everlasting, love is that meaning that we both now understand. Now you and I are married by its very, very noble and dreamlike name, thy hand and mine forged like gold forever in the name of love. Five. Time has passed, so many moons have crescented, so many suns have risen and fallen, so many hearts have been broken, so many dreams shattered, so many words unspoken, so many tears left unnoticed, yet the love here described is buried together this night, on the very same day in which they met, by chance, by fortune, by luck, by fate, for their lives before they searched something they hoped they could one day find, and then all of a sudden it came upon them both, and they could hardly believe it, so much so in each look into each eyes, they thought they were in some wonderful moonlit dream. At any moment they would awaken and it would be all over. And yet each day passed until they were rest assured that they were dreaming awake. And many a happy time did they spend in each other's arms. Many a beautiful kiss, many passionate nights spent. But as all things must end, so did they. So did their dreams. For the day came when one was taken ill and the other cared until he too became ill, and then, as fate would have it, they both died upon that same bed in which love was first made, as if they were resigned in that moment to end as they had begun. And upon finding their lifeless bodies, their friend who pens these truthful words may tell you that they were in each other's loving grasp, tears rolling down their eyes, as they had to say one final and sad goodbye to the love that they had wished and had all their natural born lives. And one can only hope that any bad that they may have done will be forgiven by the Lord God above and that they may continue the love cut short on this earth in a paradise heaven high up forever and ever. Amen. O oh, sweet pain that my heart has for this couple that lay in this most dry ground now. Their names in life next to one another. Oh, how beauteous is this gift of love. But for those that never feel it, oh, the pain. And the maiden and her man, who knew as they got older how their days of love would soon end. What pain is that to feel? Surely senility is better than to know that you must give up the most precious gift to have found true love. And to have to hold someone close to you to know that it must end even in death. To both be dying, laying eye to eye, imagining the days back when you were young. How painful is that? To remember as if it could be repeated, but it cannot. The final moments they kissed. I must have wished to have said so much, 
but ultimately telling as they had on the first meeting the most important words that any lover, any man nor, or woman, any and human being can say to one another. And it is with this that I leave you to ponder over these meanings, this tale, this legend, with the most important and final words. I love you.